with our subject in the anatomical position, we want to fully flex the elbow. So we're going to flex the elbow through its full range of flexion, which is around 145 degrees. Now, we can see that the proximal ulna makes a very firm um, bony prominence, which is called the point of the elbow. And this is the olecranon process of the ulna. And you can just see that we can follow the whole of the posterior border of the ulna. Um, using our fingers, we can walk along the bone to a bony prominence called the ulnar styloid process. This is the ulnar styloid process. Here, and we get a line, a superficial line, which is where the border of the bone is. So if you put yourself hand up to defend yourself, then this could easily be a, a bone that could take the brunt of the damage and could actually end up with the So we're going to just draw that in. Along this line. <laughs> So here we have all of So the radius, we have a radial styloid process, which is on the lateral aspect. And we know that the radius is larger, so we can just draw that in. But we can't actually feel the radius coming down here because of these um, posterior muscles. So we're just going to have to leave that to our imagination. So there we have bones of the um, forearm in the posterior aspect. Now because of um, the way that the bones cross over, if we go back to the anatomical position and then pronate our hand, it looks like we've got all the styloid process here. In fact the ulnar styloid is still um, deep now into the tissues and we've now got the head of ulna and it feels very different. This is a rounded prominence whereas when we actually have the hand in supination, this is a sharp ulnar yes. styloid process. So it's a sharp prominence. So it's not the same structure at all, but it is on the same bone.